Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Roberts Hurd. I'm here with my son Grayson. How old are you? I'm eight. You want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> my family and I just moved from Brooklyn, New York to Litchfield County in Connecticut and we're loving it. My wife and I are the co-founders of Lisa's 1973, an organic plant-based sauce and dressings company. I can't wait for you to try them. And I'm really excited to be doing today's Millie Millie 20 Questions Takeover and have you learn more about me, my family, and my brand. Welcome to my morning practice. I start every day with a cup of coffee. I take my dog outside and after spending 20 years in the city, being out in nature is just where it's at for me. I count my blessings every day, I write down five miracles from the day before. And then I also share with the universe a few things that I'm challenged by or that I'm struggling with, that I need clarity on. And I know that the universe always delivers in the universe's time frame. And this is how I start so that I can ebb and flow and respond instead of reacting. And it's my medicine. Okay, honey, we're gonna talk about household responsibilities. How do we divide them? Uh, I don't know, honey. How do we divide them? Okay, I do most of them. <laughs> well, let, and, and on occasion, Kristen definitely, like she steps up in a big way. She takes everything to the recycling center. <laughs> and she actually really does manage the household finances. All right, I'm gonna say it, that I'm gonna say important. it. It's huge, it's really important. Um, I'm aware of them, but I do all the details. And you do an amazing job, <laughs> and I love you for it. And I love you. Gratitude is something that just, it's the, it's the bedrock of my life. And of course, the number one, so grateful for my family, my son, my wife, my puppy. Uh, we have, we live in a beautiful part of the world. Um, I'm just loving every minute of this, having this experience with them, watching my city kid become a country kid and really thriving. Uh, my dog can run around, my son can run around, we have our health and we have all our needs taken care of. Uh, incredible friends, food on the table, and we get to pursue our dreams and our interests. I mean, what more could you ask for? Okay, let's talk dinner. I'm a chef, I'm a culinary archeologist, and the kitchen is my happy place. I'm also really committed to zero waste and I'm not running out to the grocery store and farm stand again today. And I'll show you what I have. We're gonna be roasting some potatoes. I'm gonna roast some carrots and I'm gonna use these carrot tops to make a pesto. And I'm gonna make, I found this gorgeous Savoy cabbage. So I'm gonna use this and some lettuce that a friend of mine brought me from her CSA. We've got a tomato, we've got some cucumbers. We're good to go. And Yes, I might make some chicken nuggets for my son in the air fryer. Gluten-free, not a lot of oil, nine minutes at 390 in the air fryer. Excellent. Why are you in the rain? There's a storm. Are you I need parsley. What? I need parsley. Are you kidding me? The sun finally came out. <laughs> it's been raining here for days. So the best parenting advice I've ever received is from the director of my son's preschool. And she said, if it looks like your kids are giving you a hard time, they're having a hard time. And I've always taken that to heart. And I always pause to the best of my abilities when my son's having a hard time and just take 10 seconds and say, hey, what's going on? It's saved us both a lot of tears. my greatest gift. Now this is where things get super personal. Uh, I have to say my sobriety is my greatest gift. I've been sober for 15 years 
And the reason I say that is my greatest gift is because if I weren't sober, I wouldn't have my son, my wife, this business I'm launching, the friends, the relationships. I wouldn't have my life. And as a result of my sobriety, I have all these gifts. Meet Sunny. This is our seven month old rescue puppy and she's the best. We love her so much. What am I grateful for? This is a far cry from city life. And I'm just seeing my family thrive. Morning for, oh! <laughs> morning person. <laughs> I'm a morning person, but my dog has got dirt all over me. Okay, my claim to fame, I'm gonna ask my wife. Honey, what? Can you come over here? Video? I want you on video. Okay. Okay, what, if you had to sum up my claim to fame, what would it be? Besides being beautiful. Oh, I love you. No, you're, you have a way of making people feel special and loved and um, bringing out the best in them. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, you've got that too. Depends on the day. <laughs> So you asked about my biggest challenge. This is my biggest daily challenge, the laundry. It never ends. <laughs> my second challenge are the dishes. Loading the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher, loading the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher. I swear to God, my wife and I, we feel as though it's all we do. Oh yeah, and the laundry too. We're picking our son up from camp, and I thought that I'd answer the question about living abroad. So I personally have lived, well actually I studied in England for three years, so I feel as though I kind of lived there. I've spent a lot of time in Italy, and we've traveled to Spain, and I've traveled to all, I've been South Africa and parts of South America. And our dog's been to Tennessee. And our dog's been to Tennessee. <laughs> kind of like for her. We had a really spectacular trip to Spain two years ago. Oh, I'm still dreaming of it. So honey, yeah. if we moved abroad, which we do talk about a lot, yes. we almost moved abroad. Certain we almost moved, yes, had worked out with exactly, Colorado. exactly. We almost moved to Spain. We were very serious about it. If we did move abroad, what do you think? I'd have to go with Italy or Spain. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's all about the food it's and the meditation. <laughs> well, it's all about the food. It's all about the vegetables and the fruit and the sea and the sunshine. Okay. And the hummus. <laughs> okay, what life goal am I working towards right now? That's super easy. I am launching with my wife, Lisa's 1973, a line of plant-based, organic, responsibly sourced, social impact dressings and sauces that I, these are delicious, delicious, delicious. I made these recipes when I had a health crisis 15 years ago and could not find anything to take my meals next level because I was sick and I needed some help. And so I rolled up my sleeves in the kitchen. I applied what I learned as a classical archaeologist, a professional chef, and made something spectacularly awesome that I'm so excited to share with the world. Thanks so much for joining me for Millie Millie's 20 questions and getting a glimpse into my daily life. This has been so much fun and I'd love to stay in touch. You could reach me on Instagram at what would Lisa eat and we'll be posting updates on the launch of Lisa's 1973. I'd love to send you some organic plant-based, absolutely mind-blowing sauces and dressings.